EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present second round coverage of the Open Championship. Frank, when you come to the old course at St. Andrews for the Open Championship, you can just about hear the legends whispering to you. So many of the greats have made their mark right here. It's the oldest, it's the best, and it's the one course that everybody, no matter where they're born, wants to play. Every great player has played St. Andrews, and that will be well in advance after our time, Rich. It's just something special. Um, When you see it and play it, you'll see the reason why. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. <laughs> and it generates some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. Pretty good stroke right there, just hit it through the break. Well, it's a sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Boy, that hurts right there, Frank. Yeah, he's got a knuckle down now, though, because, you know, we've seen it before, Rich. You know, two putts turn into three, four. So make sure you can limit the damage here. Frank, it's been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. Yeah, it's not exactly a small gap between uh, that player there and uh, and the rest of the field. It's, that gap's got to feel like the Grand Canyon right now. And it makes the green in regulation. Birdie putt coming up. Had a bogey on this hole yesterday. That would have been a real bonus had it dropped, but as it is, good putt. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Will not be happy with that one. Something about this hole, it has not been kind. Bogey yesterday and staring at another one today. Well, too bad he gives one back. Rounding out the opening nine here at St. Andrews, and Frank, this par four features a couple of fairway bunkers that players will have to contend with. Yeah, this hole is a fun hole when you first stand on that tee and look at it. Um, you see those bunkers smack bang in the middle of the fairway. The last bunker there in the middle is called the end hole. This hole is, is called the end. But this green, too, is so flat, very, very difficult to read. But uh, if you get there, pull the head cover off the driver. Remember, this is the only chance you get to play the old course. That looked like a miss hit, Frank. The lie was okay. It's a little surprising. Maybe wrong club. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the, end of the hole. Don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Really? This is that awkward length. That wasn't a gimme, but it sure made it look easy. Now at the 10th, Bobby Jones loved this hole, didn't he? And that's why it's been uh, renamed Bobby Jones. Drivable for a lot of the players, but if you're going to have a crack at the screen, avoid the gorse down the left side, as well as the two pot bunkers that are in line with the right side of the screen. That one is just a little offline, and that will not end up in the fairway. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. What was he thinking there? I have no earthly idea. So 
safely on the dance floor. This is a 22-foot putt. That's not the way you want to start the back nine. Missed putt, bogey, and a drop shot. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Must make this for a double bogey. Frank, how do you explain what we saw here? Uh, it, it, it's a mess. It's probably the easiest way to put it. This is a case of anything that could go wrong, um, not just probably, it did. Coverage coming your way is presented by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Today it's live opening round coverage of the California Classic. So the action is underway and we'll take you out now to our featured golfer here at number one. Stepping up to the first tee, Frank, what are some keys to be thinking about at this point? Really got to pick a decent target. Uh, really focus in on that. Don't really worry about left and right. Nice, good full swing. Slow, if anything, off the first tee. Second shot from 160. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Well, that's a smart shot. A lot of people would have tried to uh, be a little more heroic from there, but there was no need. Back on the fairway, back in play. So, Frank, on this approach shot, really all you can do is, is try to salvage a bogey. Yeah, just uh, too many mistakes in the compiling. So if you can get out here with a bogey, in some respects, that's a, a result. Just inside about 15 feet from the hole. This one just requires a little bit of focus. So the short miss, and those are painful. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. It's 
So two over early. Frank, the second hole is only 371 yards. What's the challenge here? The bunkering. This is really well bunkered. You'd expect that for a hole this short. Uh, if it's well bunkered, it means that it's vital to get it on the fairway. Frank, not the longest hitter, but sometimes you win tournaments by putting it in a good spot, and that's where we are right here, 280 yards out. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in trouble. Oh, no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is, this is going, going, gone. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Either misjudged the win or simply just pulled the wrong club, Frank. Gonna take some skill now. Pretty good shot right there. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. So with that, three over par now for the round. Now to the third hole, a par four, 471 yards. Frank, break this hole down for us. All the trouble appears down that left side with the series of bunkers, uh, but you've got to take into account the trees that are well positioned down the right side. Plus, as you can see, this fairway is not exactly flat. Always makes the hole easier, playing it from the fairway. Frank, what's the best way to get at this hole location here at number three? If there's a desired shot pattern, it's a little draw off the tee and a little draw in. And the reason why, if you look at the shape of that green, it's on a 45 degree angle to the left. So it really does suit a shot coming in from the right. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. Not enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. Ends up in the first cut, and he'll have a pretty good look at the whole location from here. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? Oh, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. A few missed shots, and it starts to add up. Already four over today. We have already begun. Let's pick up with the action at hole number four. It has not gone all that well. Early in the round for our featured golfer, what do they need to do, Frank, to turn this thing around? Well, you can't dwell on what's just happened. Uh, there's plenty of holes ahead. Uh, look at the scorecard, par fives to play, things like that. Really pick apart this golf course. There's going to be plenty of opportunities around the corner. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. Second shot coming out of the rough here. I thought he had that. Oh, you can see the frustration. Almost kicked his putter head right there with a drop shot here at the fourth. And he makes it for a bogey. Deal. Well, here we are at the fifth hole, a 535-yard par five for the long-hitting professionals. Frank, certainly not a long test. What is the challenge here on this hole? It's another example of great design by Pete Dye. He'll give you the trouble on the left on the tee shot, and then he moves the trouble to the right on the second shot. It's going to get you one way or the other. Just a good, solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. Frank, what's the first thing a professional golfer does when he gets up in the morning? 
put the sunblock on. <laughs> you check the weather, right? Yeah, on a day like today, though, it is absolutely beautiful out there. And it is not looking like a good lie. Remember, out of the rough. Expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. This is a nine-footer. Will not be happy with that one. Trying to get out of here with just one drop shot. This is for bogey. Seven over for the day. Well, the architect Pete Dye is known for visual intimidation. We see it at TPC Sawgrass at the players every year. And you see it right here, Frank, at this 255-yard par 3-6 with water everywhere you look. Yeah, you could make an argument here that it suits a little bit of a cut, like a Lee Trevino-style fade that starts at the left and moves its way to the green. But then that's also moving back towards the water. Conversely, if you try and fly it over that water on the right side with a little bit of a draw, then the green starts to run out on the left side. Have I made it sound hard? I don't know that that approach will make the highlight real, but he still has a chance if he makes this putt. Yeah, 21's when you come of age, don't they say? 21 feet away. So frustrating sometimes on the greens, isn't it? Drop shot here at the sixth. Yeah, that really hurts, Frank, missing the bogey putt. Yeah, not, now time to get the handkerchief. Double bogey coming up. Then a rocky round. And that'll wrap up the first round. We saw some good golf today, Frank, but some others, they got off to a slow start. Yeah, and I don't uh, really know how to explain why. Maybe lack of practice rounds, uh, maybe not enough time on the golf course. They certainly will have to regroup tomorrow and put up a show uh, just to make the cut.